In this module, we will talk about the solution, the way out, and what needs to be done for improvement of the information security posture in Pakistan. Now, generally in Pakistan, information security is one complete generation, almost a decade, 10 years behind the IT deployment, which has progressed and matured to a great extent. Now, the four-layer security transformation model, which we have introduced several times in the course, provides the correct sequence and the correct focus in order to address the organizational security gaps and the absence of a strong security posture in the country. Now, this is, a, again, the diagram showing the uh, pictorial view of the security transformation framework. Security hardening, vulnerability management, security engineering, and then security governance in that sequence. Just a quick review of the four steps. Step number one, security hardening of the IT assets, which means applying security controls on not only the IT assets, but also on the business, on the critical business processes. Step number two, vulnerability management, which is all about patching, about finding uh, which known vulnerabilities are not patched and updated on the systems and the IT assets and, and completing those patches and updates. Number three, security engineering, which means going more into the depth of finding out a better design and architecture and getting into more complex security solutions. And step number four, security governance, which means management, and is the last step which should be taken after expanding and spending efforts on the sequence that we've already talked about. Hardening, the vulnerability management, security engineering, and then the management or the governance. And as we have discussed in Pakistan, unfortunately, this is lopsided or it's the other way around. Most of the ex efforts in Pakistan in security industry or in security efforts is spent on governing or managing, whereas there is a complete absence of the step number one, which is security controls and vulnerability management. So the solution for the strong security posture are these four steps. Management must demonstrate commitment, and that must come from the top of the organization, the management commitment from the board level. The four-layer transformation security model is the best model. It's a tried and tested model, and it must be implemented to drive the improvement and betterment of security posture in all the organizations. The allocation of resources by the management and by the organization, periodic reviews for assessing the progress of the program, and intervention by the management to correct aspects of the program which require further support. And then don't re let's not repeat the same mistakes that we have been doing. What are those? To improve the security posture, we should not repeat these mistakes. Too much governance, too much management. Right at the top, um, the last step, governance, is taking all the time, effort, money, resources. And this is all without or absence of the underlying security controls. We have been reactive all along, um, reacting to incidents and events and regulations rather than being, rather than having the intrinsic information, strong security information security program. And then lack of resources, not giving the resources to the IT. And 10% allocation for IT is a minimum that, you know, if there are 100 people in IT, there should be at least 10 people in security with that ratio. And then the management interest. Management must take interest. It must develop the culture. It must set the tone at the top. And it must drive a strong security program in the organization and provide the resources and drive the commitment in the organization. Thank you.